Hello, this is Python and Excel part 10. We're just going to look at a very simple Excel BI challenge today. I've created a Python cell in I2. I've created a data frame using the Excel method on this range of data. The task is to calculate the total number of goals in each row and then find the rows with the top three unique values of goals. So it should be 19 goals, 14, 14, and 12. To begin with, let's create a new column called uh, total goals. And let's start by saying, okay, we want to split the result column on dash. So there's many ways we can do that. Um, but let's just try this result.apply and lambda, which will create an anonymous function, which will accept the value from the result column. So we'll call it R and we'll do R dot split on dash. And that will give the values one and seven in a list, four and four in a list, 14 and zero in a list and so on. Um, but there'll be strings. So we need to convert them to integers. So that will convert them to integers. And then we need to sum them to get the total number of uh, total number of goals. So let's see what that does. Okay. The total goals column has been calculated. Looks right. Eight, eight, 14 and so on. Next thing we need to do is filter the data frame on the three largest values in the total goals column, keeping duplicates. So just so happens, as you can see on my screen, there's a function in, in pandas data frame called n largest, and we can say n equals three columns equals total goals. And then importantly, we can put complete equals all, uh, keep equals all, I should say. Uh, on the side here, you can see that it says for all do not drop any duplicates, even if it means selecting more than n items. Now what I expected to happen from this is to get four rows, 19, 14, 14, and 12. But that's not what happens, as you can see, it actually just returns the top three. And that's because what happens with n largest is it sorts it in descending order, and then it looks for the first three rows and takes those. However, if the third row has duplicates that are beyond the third row, it will return those as well. But it doesn't say go, okay, 19, and then 14 and 14 are the same. So we'll count those as the second row and then get the third row after that. No, it doesn't do that. It only retains duplicates um, and three unique values if the duplicates are on the third item in the unique set. So if that makes sense, I'd be surprised. But nevertheless, this doesn't work. So let's try a different way. So uh, what we want to do is filter the data frame. And I'm going to use a Boolean mask to do that. And I'm going to create it by calling mask and we're going to say df dot total goals. And we're going to use this function or this method, if you like, called is in and then mp dot unique df total goals. So that's getting the unique values from total goals. And then we need just the top three. So we can slice it on negative three um, with a colon and then like that and then close the is in function call. And let's see what the mask looks like. Those rows correspond to the highest scoring matches. So we're on the right track. So we've got a Boolean mask. The next thing we need to do is just filter the data frame. So we can do uh, df.loc and that will locate. We can locate using an index and we pass a row index and then we pass a column index. In this case, I'm just going to pass the list of column names that I want. Total goals. Um, and that has returned the right rows, but they're in the wrong order. So we just need to sort the values by using sort values. So that has now returned the right rows, it's returned the correct expected answer. This has been part 10 of my Python in Excel series. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.